Yeah. Yeah. How do you make an egg laugh? I don't know. You tell a funny yoke. It really cracks them up! <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Spiral Dimension. I'm Dr. Von Hoot and this is the Magic Badger. Say hello, Magic Badger. Hi. Okay, today we've got a slab. Um, this is from comicbox.co.uk and uh, I'm pretty sure I remember what it is. And, uh, fits very well into my collection as it were. And we'll crack open some raw books as well from the whole of loads of raw books. So Grim, issue one. One. Issue seven. Um, I've heard this is getting much better now, which is good because I, I was sort of thinking about dropping it because I was really into the first run and then the second run's just been a bit meh. Don't know. I haven't carried on reading it, but I hear it's picked back up, so I'm going to give that another shot. Another lovely cover. This would be just the cover, right? It's cool. I do do love it. Then, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Spider-Man. End of Spider-Verse, I think. Hang on, I have to check in a second. Part of the Dan Slot run, I think. Right. Um, maybe I was. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe I was collecting this. I don't know. I don't remember this. Like why I bought this at all. Is it the Spider Boy book? I don't think it is. Uh, okay. Fair enough. I I don't know why I bought that, but I'm sure there was a good reason. Yeah. Miles Morales. Issue three from the latest run. I have already read this, and it's pretty great. That I really like this series. It it blows away the regular Spider-Man series. It's just really well written, fun, um, like action orientated, but really great art. I mean, I really love the inside art. It's really, really good. And that's uh, Rabble on the cover there. Who's his latest like big bag villain? Cool, cool. So some nice, 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 good, good handful of books there. Should make this a breezy video. Okay, so let's get to the slab. Uh, they recently, over one weekend, had a. I want to say it was thirty percent off all slabs deal, something like that. And I was just like, okay, at that price, I'm jumping on this. And here we go! Whoosh. Tomb of Dracula, issue 13, from 1973, in a 7.5 off-white to white page CCC, CCC, CGC graded. This is the UK price variant. Whoosh. The origin of Blade the Vampire Slayer. I, I want to say this is also a first appearance of somebody but it doesn't denote it there so I can't tell you off my head. Yeah, very happy with that. Another addition to the Tomb of Dracula collection which I'm, you know, slowly chipping away getting some graded books off. It's a pence bearing it as well which is fun. I, and I, I've actually read further than this as well for once. Yeah. It's got a cool cover and it's got you know, they're coming for Dracula. With a knife. Not a knife. Steak. Steak through the heart. Like Dracula actually might die in this issue. I'm not sure. Like, Spoilers. Oh yeah. Yeah, makes sense. So yeah, Mar Marv Wolfman story, Gene Colon and Tom Palmer art. It's a wicked cover. Oh, it's just classic. Classic. Love it. Thanks for your help, Badger. 
thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe, comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of Tomb of Dracula. And we'll catch you next time in the Spiral Dimension. Peace! From the Spiral Dimension.